for one. <clears throat> just doing a quick test. This would be a pretty quick live because I just got this little remote control boat. It's pretty fun. It's super fast. And uh, what I, what I want to do here, and it's cool. You can you can do spins. But what I want to do is see if can a boat work in, if the water starts boiling, because I can make it. I can make this water boil by dropping the pressure. Chicken fries is back. You did you eat any uranium chicken? Oh, there. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. So. If I drop the pressure, that water should start boiling. And then I wonder, will the boat still drive in boiling water? I don't know, because I just got the boat. But this boat's really cool. If I just kind of hold it down, it'll just go nuts in there. Look at it go. Just driving like crazy all over the place. Now this is at just regular pressure. So right here, hello Autumn. Um, we're at we're at just normal pressure. What I'm going to do is I start dropping the pressure and see if this boat can still drive. Because if the water if the pressure gets low enough, that water's going to boil. So will the boat work in boiling water? Going to turn on my vacuum pump. It's a little bit loud. And close this valve. And. Sometimes the pressure doesn't start dropping right away on this big chamber. This is a huge vacuum chamber. It takes a minute for this thing to get going. It's trying. Come on, vacuum chamber. There it goes. Now it's dropping. All right, just takes it a minute. This is a really big vacuum chamber. So now we're down to about 20% gone. And should start going by itself now. Oh no, it needs me to help it a little bit. All right, there we go. Now it's going. All right, let's get this boat driving. So half half the pressure's gone. And boat's still working fine, but look at that water is getting really, really bubbly there. See how the bubbles are just kind of staying? Because I think it's going to start to boil here. We're at like 30%. Of atmospheric pressure and that's cool how the water actually starts to get clearer oh they're starting to boil yeah now now it's getting to boiling the boat's still driving it's actually a lot slower I'm just I'm holding it down but it's not, it's not jumping up like it used to. Wow, that's interesting. Look how much slower it's going. When the pressure was all there, it was the boat was just whipping around like crazy, and now it's going so much slower. Yeah, all the condensation there. I put on the front of it. I put this. Uh, it's for scuba diving, I think. You put it on your mask. <laughs> But I put that on the front so it doesn't fog up on the front so you can actually see it. But all on the sides, it's, yeah, this boat's really cool. And if I hit the this button, watch, it'll start to spin. Spin the other way. That's to make a turn, though, but it's, I don't really need to do it inside the box. But it is driving so much slower in the low pressure. I thought it would drive faster in low pressure. All right, let's bring back... The pressure now and see if the boat will drive a little bit better once the pressure comes back but it's really fogging up in there now you can't really see the boat at all bring it back a little bit quicker 
We should lose the condensation once once the pressure comes back. This boat's really cool. It's pretty cheap. I bought it on Amazon. But it can drive upside down or right side up. There we go. Pressure's back. Let me I'm going to clean off I'm going to clean off that so you can actually see with this defogging stuff. And there we go. Now we'll be able to see this. We'll try it again. I didn't totally get it to boil. So I'm going to try one more time. See if I can get this, this water to boil here. Just this is a really big chamber. My pump is just not quite big enough. Hey, everyone. King Fur Lyrical Wolf. I like that. All right, here we go. What am I doing? I'm I'm driving a boat in water, but I'm lowering the pressure so that the water boils and see if the boat can still drive. It, it really had a hard time, but I'm gonna see if I can drop it again. The problem is that this, um, this vacuum chamber is really, really big and it's hard for my vacuum pump to suck the air out of this thing. So it takes takes a minute. This is at zero percent. And it's, I don't know you guys, I don't think my pump can handle this. If it just gets going, it can it can pump it out. It's trying to pump it out. So the boat the boat goes crazy when it's just normal pressure. But But I think, I think my chamber can't get the air out. Might be done. We'll have to switch to a smaller, ch my smaller chamber. Cause this, this one's too big. All right, I'm just gonna dump this water into the other chamber and see, see if we can salvage this. You should always have two vacuum chambers just in case one doesn't work. All right, here's my other chamber. This one might not be big enough for the boat, but we'll see. Stick the boat in there. The boat doesn't work. Oh, it does. <laughs> Thought it didn't work out of water. And we'll dump some of this water in. Well, now the boat's gonna have a really hard time driving, but at least I can suck the air out. All right, put some of the defogger on there so we can see. I don't really know what the defogger is, but I think it's some cord, sort of like surfactant or something because it kind of suds up a little bit like that. All right, that should be better. And uh, put that on there. I think I might have to just buy buy a bigger vacuum pump because my current vacuum pump just can't handle that larger vacuum chamber. All right, there we go. It's all set up. Let's see if this thing can drive in here. Oh yeah, that's okay. All right, still still works. So let's switch it on. See what happens here. There we go. Look at it. Dropping real quick now. Yeah, boat's doing pretty good. Let's see if the water will actually boil, though. That's what I want to see. I want to see this water start to boil. Look at the propellers just spinning. 
Oh, it's just all that sudsing up here. I don't know. I think I don't think the boat can drive in. In uh... oh, look at it boiling all around the boat. Oh no! Oh no! All right, I I don't think a boat can drive in boiling water. I think I just discovered that. If the water's boiling, a boat doesn't really work anymore. Well, kind of. It does not work very well. So I, guess, I think that's what we discovered here. Yeah, it's, it's hard to drive a boat in boiling water. So if, if you're just joining here, what I, what I wanted to see is, can a boat drive in boiling water? And so this is just warm water, but what I did is I, I put it inside this vacuum chamber and I pumped the air out and water can boil if you lower the pressure, even if it's not hot. So I don't, I don't want to actually use real hot water because I'd wreck my boat. So with warm water, you can boil it just by decreasing the air pressure above it and and a boat doesn't really work in boiling water. Now, it, they kind of stopped boiling here. It must have um, kind of equaled out. The boat's kind of working again. Just not very well. All right, gonna let the pressure back in. Let the boat kind of start driving again here. There it goes. Look at it already. Just zipping around. Just need a little bit of air again. Cotton candy. Yeah, Black's 2X. That's a great idea. I'd like to do cotton candy. All right, got to wrap it up here. But um, I did want to throw in this Nerf ball because I didn't. I don't know what would happen with a Nerf ball. I know I got a lot of water in there too, but... While you're here, let's just try it. I don't think a Nerf ball, ball is gonna do anything, but um, let's switch this on and see what happens. Uh oh, it's doing that thing again. Getting any suction. Try that again. It's all that. It's all that. All this stuff is, is messing up the vacuum chamber. That's the problem here. Wipe that off of there. And now we should get it going. There it goes. All right. Will that Nerf ball do anything? Not really. Later Blacks 2X. Yeah, I didn't think so. The, the, it's too porous. So the air's just getting sucked out of it. It's not expanding at all. If I bring the pressure back, we'll see if it shrinks at all. Nothing. Just got water in it. All right, that's it for tonight. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make a video soon with this, with this boat getting some better shots of that thing in boiling water. So watch for that in the next week or two.